In this lecture, we are going to create our first deployment environment in DBT. That means an environment that end users or business intelligence tool can connect to to then see the results of the models that we are building in our development environment. And to create an environment in the DBT cloud IDE, you can go to deploy and down here you will see environments. Click on environments. Over here, it's going to show you all the environments that you already created. The default one is the development environment that is using the DBT version 1.3, but we want to create a production environment. Let's click on create environment. We have to give it a name and just call it production. And down here, you see that you can decide the environment type. And this project already has a development environment and only deployment environments can be created. That means you can create as many deployment environments as you need, but you can only have one development environment. Down here, you have to decide the DBT version for that environment. We know that our development environment is running on 1.3, so we simply select 1.3. After setting the DBT version of the environment, you can decide if your environment should run on a custom branch. This is the definition of that. By default, all environment will use the default branch. Usually, it's just the main branch of your project. Therefore, if you are building a specific feature for which you already created a specific branch, you can specify that branch in the environment and only deploy it from that branch. This allows you to test different features of your project without impacting the experience of existing users. In our case, the production environment should be based on the main branch, so we have nothing to change. We just leave the option unchecked because we want it to run on the main branch. So down here, you have to enter deployment credentials. And we have to also look into the documentation about that. Let me go down here and you will see that this section allows you to determine the credentials that should be used when connecting to your warehouse. And the authentication method may differ depending on the warehouse and the dbt cloud tier you are on what that means is that if you are using postgresql this is how the sections will look like for you if you are using snowflakes you have almost the same but if you are using bigquery you just have to enter the data set and this is the target data set you can see it's really different from environment to environment. We are using BigQuery, therefore the only thing we have to specify here is the data set. We can just go back here. Let's name the data set DBT production. That means when jobs runs from this environment, they are going to create a data set in our project named DBT production. So that's all for now. We have the name of the data set, the version on which it should run, the name of the environment, and we can just save that. Now our environment is ready. And the next thing we have to do is to create some jobs inside the environment. See you on the next lecture.